What do you do when you catch a brazen burglar in your backyard? One man took matters into his own hands and fought back. The victim says the burglar stole thousands of dollars worth of recording equipment and then returned to the scene for the, of the crime for a second time. KTLA's John Finolio is live in the Pico Robertson area with new details on this scary encounter. John. Well, Sharon, Micah, as you're going to see in this surveillance footage, this thief was trying to cover his tracks after stealing thousands of dollars in production equipment, prompting this homeowner to try to take matters into his own hands. With his face covered, this burglar is wiping off his fingerprints from a school bus turned mobile recording studio in Pico Robertson. I haven't been able to sleep in days and every little noise I jump up to protect my family. Comedian Daniel Lobel owns the bus, which he parks behind his home. This is the podcast bus. It's LA's only mobile recording studio that comes to you. The bus is his office where he records his popular podcast, Modern Day Philosophers, which features comedians talking philosophy. He also uses it for other productions. Basically, it's his livelihood. I worked my ass off to, to, to build this business so that I could stand on my own two feet and, and, and do something that I'd be a business that I'm, I know I'm good at, that I know I can help other people with. But last Thursday afternoon, a burglar climbed the wall to LaBelle's backyard and broke into the bus. You can see him carrying away bags of equipment. They stole my cameras, they stole my board, they stole my switcher, they stole my headphones, they stole my headphone amps and my memory cards and my SD readers, about approximately $25,000 of equipment. LaBelle says he noticed the door to the bus was open, then decided discovered his gear had been stolen. Several hours passed after he'd assessed everything that had been taken. Then, to his surprise, I'm like looking down as I'm walking because I'm so upset and I look up and there's the guy back two hours later cleaning his fingerprints off and I said to him, I'm going to kill you and I went after him and I, 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 I tried to grab the trampoline out of the plaything to use it as a weapon but I couldn't get it out. He says, despite the financial hardship of it all, he's just glad his family wasn't harmed. One thing I keep reminding myself throughout this whole thing is that everything happens for a reason and God is good. And there's something good that's gonna come out of this. I don't know what it is, but maybe what, what'll come out of this is, this will cause a stir and the police will prioritize this and they'll get this guy and I'll restore peace of mind for myself and my wife and we could sleep again at night. Maybe that'll come of it, and maybe what else will come is that he won't be able to do this to anyone else. Maybe it'll raise awareness about these encampments. All right, he says he did file a police report, also turned over that surveillance video to officers in hopes of catching the guy. In the meantime, he started a GoFundMe to rebuild his podcast bus and get back to work. If you'd like to donate, you can find a link under this article on our website, ktla.com. We're live in Pico Robertson. I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in the studio. John, thank you. Hundreds.